Hi, this is Kurt Bennick for ConstructionPros.com. We're here at the 2015 Work Truck Show with JP Davis, a um, product specialist for the product SD manager. Yeah, product absolutely. manager for the 122 SD uh, Freightliner. Uh, JP, we're sitting in front of this pretty uniquely configured 122 SD with the crane on. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So this is a uh, logger grapple. It's a 14-ton logger grapple uh, mounted to our 122 SD truck. Uh, so basically, what this truck would do is. Uh, pull up to the to the logging site with a trailer on the back and you can do your own loading of the, the truck by itself. So it can load, uh, it can also at the very end when you get through lo unloading, it can go ahead and stack your uh, trailers up for you and off you are on your on the own. You're, you're uh, so all in, encompassed on this one vehicle. Say, so JP, what do we have under the hood of this 122 So SD? this is a Detroit Diesel DD16, 600, 600 horsepower, 1600 horsepower, uh, 1850 foot-pounds of torque. We do also offer this truck as a 2050 foot-pounds of torque. A very fuel-efficient engine, uh, and obviously strong enough to, to move any kind of load that you put behind it. What transmission do you have you made to this engine? In this particular case, this is a Eaton Ultra Shift transmission, 18-speed. Okay. So it's an automated manual. So. Okay, when it comes to the 122, I understand it's a really versatile truck. What engine options are available for the So on the 122, we do 13 liters and 15 liter Detroit diesels. So all the way down to 350, all the way up to, of course, 600 horsepower. And then we also have an ISX Cummins engine for it as well. How about transmissions to make to those engine options? Uh, we have the uh, automated manuals, of course, uh, which are the Eaton's. But okay. we also do the Allison transmissions, the 3000, 4000 series transmissions for it. And then, of course, you also have manual transmission options for it. How about dimensions? What do we have for wheelbase options on this truck? This particular one is 261 inch wheelbase, but we do all the way up to 300 inch wheelbase as a uh, something that you can get straight out of the book. And if you need to go longer, you let us know. We, I'm building dump trucks right now at 302. Okay. And lift up axle configurations in various? So yeah, from an axle configuration, you know, this one is just a 20K front, but we also do 23K front suspensions. Uh, this is a tandem at 46, but we do tri-drive suspensions, which are 69,000 pounds. So we can do 92,000 GBW for the 122 SD. Of course, we can go all the way up to 160,000 GCW, and then in applications, uh, work through our engineering to go all the way up to 210,000. What really sets a 122 SD apart from some of the other competitors in the marketplace? Heavy duty truck and, and very versatile. So I can use this truck from a bulk call, say in the oil fields, mm -hmm. to there's a logger configuration. I do it for uh, big dump trucks. We could do, we just did a big eight by eight, uh, big oil tanker style truck. So from uh, wreckers to, to here we are as a grapple truck to dump trucks, it's just so versatile. It can do just about anything. How about weight conscious applications? Is there options available for? Actually on this particular truck, we can get down to about 17,000 and the 17,000 pound range, which is a very lightweight truck. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you get into a dump truck and you want to go lightweight with something, uh, that's obviously a good choice for this product. Okay, and, and Detroit Power, Detroit Axles? Detroit Power, Detroit Axles. We also have Meritor as an option, uh, depending on what configuration you're trying to run. Sure, tri drives, a lot of times you want to go with a, a little different axle. Okay. In the vocation applications, options are a big deal. What do we have in terms of options for the 122? Oh, absolutely. So the 122, we, we continue to listen to our customers. We continue to add add options. Uh, last year, we had a 78,000 Tritum configuration, uh, so we could get really into the super heavy-duty uh, configurations. But we even have a press release coming out here at NTA. We're doing heavy-duty bolted cross members. We're doing uh, you know factory-mounted uh, fog lamps with, with guards. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of different configurations that we just keep adding to the market. Okay, thank you.